Well, hi folks, uh, here we are Tuesday, May the 19th. Uh, Stephen Nesbitt here, Campbell River. Uh, it's uh, sort of an overcast day. We're off uh, near the water today, and uh, you can see it's uh, pretty clear. There's a boat coming by. I'm not sure if he's going to come into our view or not. He may be just sulking down there. Uh, just uh, wanted to say hi and see how everybody's doing with this waltz, this Wuhan waltz. Uh, we'll post a couple of links again today, like we always do. Uh, well, one for sure. Uh, one is how to uh, sort of structure yourself, get set for what's coming, if you're in business or, or if you're an employee. The other, I'm waiting for confirmation, I'm doing a bit of uh, fact-checking on it just to make sure. And uh, if that comes back, okay, we'll have it. It's sort of uh, interesting. It's to do with uh, the new world order of things. And this is, this is coming from pretty high up people. I think last video we had a, uh, or the one before, we had a parliamentarian from Italy speaking. And uh, more Italian uh, higher-ups have uh, created uh, an email that is uh, sort of uh, disturbing. Now, if we can get confirmation that it is in fact factual, not just somebody horsing about, I will post that today, or as soon as I get confirmation. And. Uh, I suppose uh, where some of the businesses in British Columbia are opening today, and I'm listening to people uh, get all ex they're pretty excited, which is good. Um, uh, getting tired of the downplay of the new world, or the uh, the new reality, or the new the new normal. I mean, I think those have been overused already. I think we should just get back, just get back, and go to work. Don't need a tag for it. Um, it's going to be interesting though because some businesses are opening up at half capacity uh, with more expense and of course the expense is the COVID-19 or the, the Wuhan Waltz regulations and uh, so that's going to be intriguing see how that happens uh, you know you have to have more sanitizer more of this maybe a couple more employees to sort of police everything um, so we'll see how it goes we wish everybody luck uh, with Nesbitt's Island Coffee, we're still on hold, we're still watching what's happening and uh, not ready to sort of pull a pin on that yet and open it up. Um, so that's about all for now. Uh, just uh, check out the emails. Uh, uh, it's a gorgeous view here and I'm not sure how it's going to show up on camera because I'm a bit out of the way. But it's... Uh, pretty peaceful. If you got to isolate, this is the kind of thing to do. Get away from it. And uh, although I'm starting to think that the isolation is getting a bit uh, overblown, uh, you know, we're uh, still have the U.S. border blocked to regular traffic for another month. Our illustrious Prime Minister, illustrious Prime Minister made that announcement this morning. But here's a crazy thing. In Canada, the uh, three hot spots or the the three provinces with the most cases are Quebec, Ontario, and Alberta. And we have no travel bans from there. So, uh, don't quite see the U.S. one yet. Maybe they want to make tourism hurt a little bit more. Uh, there's some sinister things at play here. And uh, it's, it's interesting. Uh, some sinister things at play by people you would not think are doing that. But anyway, I'll let this run for a few more minutes. Take care, and we'll catch you next time.